Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. They've got a new and improved app and they want you to try it out. It's cleaner, simpler and smarter than ever. Now this app is the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you use my link in the description. You can download it for free. So welcome back to another episode of the FIFA News Show. Today we are going through the latest FIFA 21 news. I've got all the recaps regarding the licensing stuff, the gameplay reveal, and I've also got information on when the next bit of news is coming, so we're going to talk about that. And I've also got some FIFA 20 stuff thrown in between, so I hope you do enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like, it always helps. To get all the latest FIFA 21 news and content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get to 200,000 by the end of the year, so please help me out by subscribing today. Now before we get into it, I just wanted to say thanks to Speedbird1 who recently became a channel member this week. Thanks for your support. If you want to join up as a member, look for the link in the description or the join button. Alright, so it's been a big week of FIFA news between the gameplay reveal and the licensing stuff, but I think we're going to start today's episode recapping the licensing news. Now, EA and AC Milan have gone into a new partnership now, and this is going to be a multi-year deal as well, which probably means we will get face scans sooner or later. And of course, this also applies to Inter Milan, who have now partnered up with EA as well. And uh, yeah, Inter's one is going to be multi-year deal as well, which means face scans are probably coming in the near future as well. And uh, you can already see a Lukaku face update, but I don't know if that's a scan or a custom at the moment. Now that was some good news, but we've got some bad news, and you might have catched it already, but Roma and EA have not renewed their agreement, which means Roma will be a unlicensed club in FIFA 21, which is going to be like the Piemonte cultural situation where they're not really Juventus, they're just a fake club, but you still get all the players and stuff. EA has officially said that in FIFA 21, AS Roma will now be Roma FC, playable and equipped with a custom badge and kit for our kickoff, career mode, ultimate team and Volta. And Roma FC will now compete in the Stadion Olympic, so they're not in the Stadio Olimpico anymore, they're in that generic stadium. You can still expect to see the same Roma Real World Authentic players and related likenesses in FIFA 21 and Ultimate Team. Player chemistry within Ultimate Team will be unaffected by these changes. Moving on to the gameplay reveal this week, EA decided to drop a trailer and some pitch notes of all the new things coming to FIFA 21 gameplay. There is a few gameplay clips here and there, but of course EA brought out the usual big words, the marketing terms, all that kind of stuff. I think it was a 6,000 word essay to describe FIFA 21 gameplay, and the thing is, you can describe it till the cows come home, but the problem is once you put your disc in, the patches, all that kind of stuff, that's when you know if the gameplay is going to be good or not. Like right now, they're not showing you too much, so... Just proceed with caution until, you know, you play the game yourself. But I'm not going to summarize the whole thing. I did that in a video the other day, so please check that out if you want to know the whole story of FIFA 21 gameplay so far. But pretty much they've done improvements to attacking, defending, shooting, passing, headers, and dribbling. They've got some new skill moves, celebrations, directed runs is also a new big thing as well. New animations and improved fluidity as well. And then you've got the removal of some celebrations, including the shush and AOK -okay foot celebration. They're also planning to make more changes in that area. They've got the removal of the walkback cinematic after a goal in online matches. And then they've also added a rewind feature, which will be in kickoff only. So if you're worried about using a rewind thing, which is like a flashback thing, it will not be in career mode or online or anything like that. It's just kickoff. So, of course, that was just a quick summary. There's many, many more things that you need to know about FIFA 21 gameplay. So I do suggest you read the pitch notes and check out my video from the other day. Now, in terms of what's coming next for FIFA news, Lucas Bazzati says that Foot 21 news will be announced on the 10th, and that is correct because EA has recently scheduled a new Ultimate Team trailer for Monday, and they said the man with the magic in his gloves, Peter Cech, is a Foot 21 icon, full foot reveal coming Monday. So they're going to announce probably all the icons, new foot features, with a trailer, with some pitch notes as well. And career mode will be on the 13th, so it's going to be a busy week coming up of FIFA news and pitch notes, all that kind of stuff. And we finally hit that career mode week as well, which is good. Foot, in addition to the new customization options, will also show the new icon. So we're going to get some info on that. Career mode was the mode with the most additions. It will be a very busy week. Indeed, that is true. So I guess if you're new around here, make sure you sub up because this week we're going to go through career mode and ultimate team stuff for FIFA 21. And there's been a lot of hype surrounding career mode this year. A lot of developers and stuff have mentioned career mode and apparently it's like the biggest thing that they've done this year. But knowing how like all the developers say all the big things and then it'll look exactly the same as FIFA 20 with maybe one or two tile changes. I mean, I would love to see a whole new menu system, but... Obviously, we should expect something similar to this. This was actually designed by Keo. You guys seem to enjoy when he does those designs, so I just wanted to show this concept for his FIFA 21 career mode. This week, EA decided to do a Q&A on their 
Twitter channel and uh, a few people asked them questions and the developers actually responded. I'm just going to go over the main highlights right now. And the first one is about headers. It says starting our Q&A with a topic that we've seen a few questions on, manual headers. Manual headers apply to all passing and shooting headers. However, clearances will prioritize getting to the ball as fast as possible and clearing the ball. And then another person asked, is it ever going to be possible for right-footed players to perform an elastical in the opposite way? Not the reverse elastical. I mean an elastical that ends on the player's right foot. And EA Fever said, unfortunately, this is not something that we tackled for Fever 21. It is something that we are aware of and will keep discussing for the future. Another person asked, besides the finesse shot rework and manual heading updates, will you be changing finishing goalkeeper ability in any way? EA says multiple improvements were made to shooting and goalkeepers, including near post shot coverage for goalkeepers and more personality impact when shooting. Now, the most controversial question comes from Philip or Felipe, who says, have you removed scripting, handicap, and DDA from the game? DDA is like dynamic uh, difficulty or something. If not, it will be 100% useless again. EA provides an answer that says, as mentioned before, there is no scripting, handicap, momentum, and or DDA in the game. We'll try to summarize some details in this thread. So they actually went on a five-part answer here. We build a football simulation game by implementing the different concepts of football. These concepts include an error system and a physics system, which bring variety and authenticity to the game. When recreating the details of football, all real life outcomes are possible. Every year we are actively trying to reduce situations in the game that feel random and outside of the user control. And we continue to see progress in this area every year. Now, I don't know if the word is scripting, but I do feel it. And I feel like it's what they're saying here, like random and out of the user control moments. That's what I feel when I play the game. I say it's scripting, but it could be that. From a gameplay design perspective, there is absolutely no need to implement systems to influence the outcome of the game artificially, since all the above mentioned already creates a football-like experience for our players. As explained in the past, the only time our game adjusts the difficulty of the CPU AI offline only is during the introductory boot up match that tries to determine which offline difficulty level is best suited for you. Now Rylad said, will defending be more manual based and AI defending toned down in FIFA 21? Felt completely unrewarding and cost me so many goals in FIFA 20 to try and control my defenders. EA says defending for FIFA 21 aims to reward users for performing more manual actions, i.e. manually tackling an opponent. From tackles to ball blocks, a user-controlled player should have more precision and success compared to an AI teammate. Career Mode Star says, What new features will allow a player to defend against agile dribbling? We improved the tackling system to better position the defender when making a play on the ball. Jockeying allows the defender to track their opponent with the confidence of not being beaten. The balance between dribbling and jockeying is something that we'll be monitoring. EA also says, The attacking positioning attribute is now more impactful in the game, expanding the variety of players you'll want to try for different positions. In FIFA 21, the strength of players allows them to perform better in physical interactions, even with a lower balanced attribute. And those were some of the main highlights from that Q&A. So this is going to be some good news for career mode people, for people interested in player faces in FIFA. FIFA News Holland put out a thing that said the launch of FIFA 21 is coming closer and closer. PSV will have its stadium and head scans in the game, most likely during the launch of the PS5. So that would be probably one of the November updates, I guess. Ajax will also receive new scans for players like Martinez, Neres and Alvarez. Now, this is pretty likely because last year PSV did announce a partnership with EA for FIFA 20. I'm not sure if anything is going on with FIFA 21 at the moment, but they were partners last year, which means there was a possibility that EA did scan their players and stadiums and stuff. So, with the IX one as well, they were partners as well for FIFA 20. And on the website in 2018, they said that they were partners for three seasons. So... I'm sure the PSV one would be for three seasons as well, so this could mean that Ajax gets the same treatment as PSV. Now one person asked what is your source and FIFA News Holland said he spoke with an employee of PSV. Just keep in mind we talk about EA but those statements are highly likely to happen. So he thinks it's happening, I think it's happening as well and apparently a PSV employee thinks so as well. So let's talk about the recent EA earnings call. I'm not going to talk about the whole transcript, just taking a few points out of it and see what is going to be relevant for you guys. Now this happened a week or two ago now, and EA always talks about FIFA and stuff with these earnings calls. So here's a few paragraphs. Player acquisition of new and returning players in FIFA grew more than 100% year over year in Q1, with more than 7 million joining during the quarter. So 7 million new players just in one quarter. These are now among our most engaged groups of players, demonstrating commitment and longevity in our FIFA live service. FIFA in Asia grew significantly year over year in Q1 as well, with FIFA Online 4 now engaging nearly 30 million players to date. We have more people than ever before playing and connecting through FIFA, and when FIFA 21 launches on October 9, 
The world's leading football experience will expand with more ways to play with friends. Volta squads and foot co-op will bring new social dimensions to the game. And we're also delivering the most comprehensive update to career mode that we've ever released. So finally, a career mode thing gets mentioned in our earnings call because these earnings calls are all about money and ultimate team and stuff. So finally, they hype up career mode by saying it's the most comprehensive update they've ever released. So... Man, this, this must be the best career mode ever. Now, in a final paragraph, it says, Next-gen versions of FIFA 21 and Madden 21 will bring the next level of innovation and interactive sports experiences to fans with the launch of the new console. This will be a great year of new games and content for sports fans around the world. So those were just some highlights from the earnings call. Obviously, I liked the career mode line, but obviously, you can't take what they say seriously. I need to see the evidence now. Now it looks like FIFA 21 will feature some sort of new broadcast or a commentator or something. His name is Gustavo Villani and I saw this tweet from uh, Bola do Jogo 10 or something. He says, according to our friend Fernandez TP, Gustavo Villani will be the narrator of FIFA 21. So if you know him, he is going to be in the game apparently. This is still, you know, not confirmed stuff. And I think this guy works for Fox Sports. And so it is maybe likely that he will be a commentator or a narrator in the game. I guess we'll see what happens with this one. So let's quickly talk about some FIFA 21 icons news. Now we're going to find out the full list of icons really soon. But Foot Dong put out a tweet that said Cafu and Forlan are not icons in FIFA 21. Despite what rumors are saying, unfortunately, they are not true. So last week there was a thing where Forlan commented on something about FIFA 20 or FIFA 21 icons. And we sort of thought maybe he's going to be in it, but apparently he's not. But like I said, we're going to find out the full story really soon in the next few days if they do a reveal. There was a new marketing trailer called The Next, and this is basically announcing new ambassadors. EA is going for, you know, the young players now. They're going to carry these guys over the next few generations of FIFA games, I reckon. But in that trailer, we saw a new Bergwijn face, and they also confirmed that his celebration will be in the game now as well. So next up, we have a FIFA 20 squad update to take a look at. This one is for the 6th of August. And uh, these are the players that got added here. Nothing too exciting. One guy's got a 78 potential. He plays for St. Etienne. Let's take a look at the removed section. And we've got Howedes, uh, removed, and Perrin as well from St. Etienne. And then there's a few other guys there as well. Let's take a look at the updated section. And there's only three players that got updated. The first one is Voland. And this guy went from 83 down to 82 potential. And then we've got Shenglong and Atiyu as well from Melbourne Victory. This guy got a potential downgrade to 59. And this guy got a downgrade to 63 potential. Now, I want to thank DevDot for letting me know about this one. But apparently, there is a new Champions League ball in the gameplay trailer. Take a look at your screen. You can see the new ball. Now, I don't know if this is going to be next season's ball. Or is it the one that they're using right now to finish off the current season? I tried looking. Didn't really tell me much for this design. But it's got like white colors. It's got pink as well. Let me know if you know anything about this ball. And finally, in some promotional material, Liverpool put out a trailer thing in FIFA 21. Showing off their new home kit. So you can see in the trailer, Firmino's new face, but we sort of knew that already. And uh, some of the shorts do look a little bit shorter as well, suggesting that there could be some new shorts in edit mode, but I'm not sure about that yet. But that's pretty much it for that one. But anyway, that's all for today's FIFA news. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you straight there. I'll see you next time.